Hi. In this video, we will introduce two multiplicities for any given eigenvalue of a score matrix, geometric multiplicity and algebraic multiplicity. And then we will learn how to compute and find these multiplicity for any given eigenvalue of a matrix. Well, uh, let us assume that uh, lambda 1 is an eigenvalue of an n by n matrix A. Then there are two multiplicities. Let me start two columns. One is algebraic multiplicity of lambda 1. And the other one is geometric multiplicity of lambda 1. Well, uh, they have very straightforward definition, but we will discuss more details and see how does that. Algebraic multiplicity is the multiplicity... City of lambda 1 as the root of the char characteristic polynomial of A. In other words, uh, what you have is a determinant of A minus lambda i, yes? Since, since lambda 1 is an eigenvalue of this uh, polynomial, we know that it is going to have an eigenvalue of the form lambda 1 minus lambda. Okay? Then you put all other factors of that form, lambda 1 minus lambda or lambda minus lambda 1, both of them is the same thing. So you put all of them together, it will have a power in 1. Then there will be another polynomial in lambda, which has no, I, no root of lambda 1. So P1, P has no lambda 1 root. We can always do this. It can be lambda minus lambda, lambda one minus lambda to the power one or two or three. And that is what we call it. So N one is the algebraic multiplicity of lambda one. So we have to find um, a characteristic polynomial and then find the multiplicity of lambda 1 in that characteristic polynomial. Let me push these ones a little bit here. And then that, that multiplicity is what we have as algebraic multiplicity. How about geometric multiplicity? This again has a easy and easy definition. This is basically dimension of the eigenspace for lambda 1. In other words, you have to find the all eigenvectors. So find the eigen find the eigen vectors uh, of a lambda one corresponding to lambda one. Means that what? Means that you solve a minus a lambda one i zero. And find a basis for the null space. Okay, so find a basis for null space of this guy here. Yeah. So when you have all those uh, a basis for that then the count the number of the element in that basis that is equal to the null dimension of the null space which is the eigenspace uh, of lambda 1 so dimension of e lambda 1 is equal to number of vectors 
in uh, the basis or in a basis um, of uh, for null space of a minus lambda one i zero. Well, right away you may ask, okay, these are two multiplicities. Are they going to be equal? Or what is the relation between these two? Let's do in some examples, you will see that no, they are not required to be uh, the same for, ma for, for, for mages. So, uh, the example we have is okay one two by two matrix okay first thing is that let's find eigenvalues of this guy so determinant of one minus uh one zero one two a minus uh, lambda minus lambda minus lambda so here this will be one minus lambda and two minus lambda set it equal to zero you see that lambda is equal to one and lambda is equal to two two eigenvalues so eigenvalue uh lambda equal to one then you look at the characteristic polynomial this is characteristic polynomial of that matrix the power of the factor one minus lambda or lambda minus one both of them are the same thing here is one so has algebraic multiplicity equal to one so the algebraic multiplicity of lambda equal to one eigenvalue one is one how about eigenvalue lambda is equal to two well it has also algebraic multiplicity of you see the power is one the multiplicity of root 2 in the characteristic polynomial is the multi algebraic multiplicity. How about geometric multiplicity? Okay, lambda is equal to 1. We have to solve. This is the coefficient matrix of, of that homogeneous system. Solve this guy. Well, let me just make this 1, 1, 0, 0. Well, you can interchange uh, R1, R2, what you will get 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And from there, you see that the second variable, which is Y, is going to be free variable. And then X plus Y is equal to 0, which means that this is equal to minus Y. And that's T. Okay. This means what? This means that all the solutions are going to be of the form minus t t, and that is that everything is multiple of negative one and one. It means that it means that the basis negative one this vector is uh, a basis for e of one eigenspace one. How many uh, vectors it has? It has only one. So that means that the dimension of E1 is one. As a result, the uh, geometric multiplicity of E1, uh, sorry, of lambda equal to one, of lambda equal to one, is equal to dimension of e1 is 1. So in this case, yes, both of the algebraic and uh, geometric multiplicities are 1. And you can show this is a, an example or, or an exercise for you. Show that geometric multiplicity of lambda equal to 2 is also 1. So in this example, for both eigenvalues, the algebraic and geometric multiplicities are equal and it is, uh, they are equal to 1. Okay?
but this is not always true for example in this this uh, matrix actually we did find the characteristic polynomial of this guy in another video and it is equal to minus 1 plus lambda squared lambda minus 5 that is you can check the other video that uh, this is the uh, characteristic polynomial of this matrix and from there you see that lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal sorry lambda equal to negative 1 and lambda equal to 5 are two eigenvalues the multiplicity of lambda equal to negative 1 is 2 so this means that algebraic multiplicity of lambda equal to negative 1 is 2 and algebraic multiplicity of uh, lambda equal to 5 as you can see it is 1 but let me just leave it there for because I want to compute geometric multiplicity of uh, this eigenvalue lambda equal to negative 1 okay how about that well I do uh, I need to solve a minus lambda so a minus lambda i so here is negative 1 negative 1 and negative 1 this gives us uh, 2 2 0 and from there we get 4 4 0 and for this one is 4 5 and 0 okay what I'm doing I'm trying to find a basis for e of negative one, eigenspace of eigenvalue negative one. from there well we can easily get rid of this guy and this guy by r2 minus 2 r1 and r3 minus 2 r1 this is 2, 2, 0, 0. This will be 0, 0, 0, 0. This will be 0, 1, 0, 0. Well, interchange row 1 and row 2, row 2 and row 3, and that will give you 2, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 which is row echelon 4. From there, you right away notice that the column 3, which is for Z, has no variable. So it is free variable, sorry. It has no leading entry. For Y, we have this one, Y is equal to 0. And for X, this is 2X plus 2Y is equal to 0. And seeing all that, this means that X is equal to Y, Y is x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, and z is the free variable. It means that e of negative 1 uh, are the vectors, is the vectors of the form 0, 0, t. And as you can see, I can factor out t, and then you see that 0, 0, 1 is a basis for e negative 1. And right here, you see the basis has one vector. That means that the dimension of E negative 1 is 1. But we know that the dimension of E negative 1 is the same thing as geometric multiplicity of uh, lambda equals to negative 1. Here, you saw that algebraic multiplicity of negative 1 was 2 but geometric multiplicity of negative 1 is 1 and this is an example that shows that the algebraic and geometric multiplicities of an eigenvalue need not to be the same please find geometric and algebraic multiplicity of the other eigenvalue for this example and you will see that they have the they are the same number so algebraic multiplicity of lambda equal to 5 and geometric multiplicity of lambda equal to 5 are both equal to 1 okay 
So you have to know what is the definition of algebraic and geometric multiplicities, and you have to be able to compute those um, multiplicities.